Hey, Diana, your favorite astronaut is December 7. It's 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and I am doing another video here as another update. Uh, this is not a mandatory update. It's going to fix all the latest bugs and insects that are in the <laughs> apps. Uh, I have all three telescopes, the two Dwarf 3 and Dwarf Mini. I have some problems with Dwarf 3, with Dwarf Mini, and I want to show you what happens and what can you do. And also, I have to go and read a lot of comments and, and find uh, the actual situation. So these are all very important tests. If you just have one cell phone and you have the Mini and the Dwarf 3 or Dwarf 2, I have Dwarf 3 here, so now I am going with the same device, and I am going to connect and see what happens. Okay. So it is fine in the right telescope, so it's not that. This one is showing me already, I can see it here, under settings, that it has that red dot, which means there is an upgrade. I go to my device, Not they didn't do that for the Dwarf Mini. So that's what you're looking for. If you're new into the smart telescopes, every time you get that red circle, it's you need to do an update. Now I'm going into firmware up, upgrade. This is the version that my friend Claire says, let's see, 1.4.10, let's see. So I am in a different version right now. I, I lost track on which ones we are. <laughs> This device is connected right now on the uh, Wi-Fi and the uh, data service. Let me be sure that I am connected here to the internet, which is a problem. You see, right now I am connected to the to the device, the internal uh, Wi-Fi, but I am on data phone, so that should not be a problem. Let me just go here about uh, the STA connection. The home settings, connection settings. Okay, here it is. So I am going to enable the STA mode, which has been a problem for a lot of people. I have never had any problems with it, but a lot of people has problems. Okay, so now it's searching. Now it's going to take me to my Wi-Fi and I am going to connect. So now you have to connect, okay? So well, now it is connected. You go back to your Wi-Fi connection and let's just connect and see what happens. So now it is connected using the STA. Let me go back. Now you're going to get the searching device again. I should be able to do the upgrade now from here, not going to the app. Connection success. Now I'm going back into settings my device and let's just go to firmware upgrade say reboot now let me just click reboot and it's going to take me here to the red light and it's going to start again on the green light so it's doing that sometimes i have to turn off the device itself for like 10 or 15 seconds. Sometimes this doesn't work either. So you need to be aware of that. If it doesn't work, just close the app, reboot the device and give about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so now I should be able to go to settings and I'm going into my device. Uh, uh, the device is not connected, so I need to connect first. Important steps, go back and connect. We think that it's going to connect and do the whole thing again. Oh, no. I get confused with this too. So there's the Dwarf 3, so we're good. Okay, connection successful. Now I can go into settings in my device. And now I have a different firmware version, which I'm going to see it here and see if it's the same. It's not the same either. It's This one is uh, 1.4.75. And Claire is saying we are at 1.4.10.10, so not happening yet. I still have the latest one, but I, I don't have this one. To me, an Android phone, December 7, both telescopes fail with the one that she's saying here. So I was just reading on uh, the Dwarf Community page some comments, and I want to actually go there. 
Okay, so here is my answer. I have the uh, message with uh, Philip Fivash. It looks like the same thing happened to him. And he got a, a reply from Dwarf Lab that they may not be live yet. So I don't know when is this going to happen. I couldn't do it December 7 at 2.56 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> That's the best I can do. It will happen. So those are the steps. If you have been watching my videos for a while, thank you so much. I also have the membership program, which is the program that keeps uh, these channels going. It's very simple. And I provide PDF documents for many of the tutorials and other settings that are very important in astrophotography for smart telescopes, traditional gear, uh, and also the editing software. 